Coalition of Civil Society Organization, Lifeline Center for Medical and Health Rights Advocacy, and its affiliate bodies, the Nigerian Medical Association, NMA, the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors, NAD, and the Nigerian Union of Journalists, NUJ, charged with the mandate of pursuing, promoting, and enforcing the medical and health rights of Nigerians, and championing advocacy for policy reforms, and extracting professional accountability and best practice from medical and healthcare personnel has vehemently opposed the decision of the federal government to the concluded plans to bring in some Chinese doctors to assist in the fight against COVID-19 pandemic in Nigeria. This was contained in a statement signed by the Board of Trustees, Professor Wakwe Abugu in Abuja, describing the acts under the guise of legal and strategic reasons they said there is a lay down procedures to ensuring the registration of foreigners for the purpose of practicing medicine in Nigeria as set out in the Medical and Dental Practitioners Act CAP M8 Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004. It said a foreigner will obtain a medical qualification from any institution outside Nigeria and who wishes to practice medicine in Nigeria must first certify the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria that its qualification was obtained from an institution approved by the Council. However, having satisfied this condition precedent, such a foreigner must proceed to submit himself to a test, screening and other due diligence to satisfy the Council that his training, skill, competence and character as such as would not jeopardize the life and health of Nigerian patients. According to the statement, the unwholesome episode by the so-called doctors is yet to show any evidence as estranged in the dental constitution as they are in a rush to unleash on Nigerian COVID-19 patients, even as they express worries over the increasing records of COVID-19 infections and deaths. While acknowledging the number of recovering patients so far in Nigeria, it added that diligent adherence to the laid-down procedures are required in order to tackle the menace. Consequently, the board further uses the medium to commemorate the 2020 edition of the World Health Day by calling on the government to tackle the healthcare challenges that have embedded the nation, especially at this critical time, through the provision of over 5 million ventilators for the treatment and ensuring recovery of all COVID-19 patients across Nigeria hospitals. The statement also reads that, attesting to the fact that ventilators are very critical to these current trends, there is a need for the federal government to empower local production of ventilators so as to curb its prevailing scarcity worldwide for the treatment of COVID-19 in Nigeria. The board, while regretting the federal government's inability to create a system of compulsory medical liability insurance and life insurance policies for all levels and classes of medical and healthcare personnel, suggests that deploying energy and resources into these areas should be treated with utmost consideration as well as ensuring adequate personnel protective equipment for medical personnel for the war against COVID-19 and other infectious diseases to boost in the morale of frontline caregivers who are daily risking their lives for the masses. They therefore call on both federal and state government to put in strategies that will ensure the sustenance of Nigerians who depend mostly on daily income as the nation is completely on the lockdown. Even as they commend the FG initiative to providing succor to the most vulnerable, thus urging for more proactive measures to reaching out to the right people throughout the distribution exercise. Lifeline Center is joining forces to iconize with the World Health Organization on this World Health Day 2020 to highlight on the awareness of nurses and midwives as a restless workforce in the medical world. Thus, beaming a search light on the need for government at all levels to heed to the clarion call to revolutionize healthcare system, especially at this most challenging moment of the fight against COVID-19 pandemic. Signed, 
Professor Wakwe Abugu for president. Audio jump.